So here we are once again. It is a June 28, 2021. I gotta make sure I get it right. Last time we saw each other, I was getting to Damascus on the Appalachian Trail. And today I'm heading to the airport, to Miami International Airport to catch an overnight flight to Spain because Spain already opened its doors to vaccinated Americans. And I'm on my way now to attempt five Caminos back to back. And there's even the possibility of a sixth one. But, you know, What's going on guys? My name is Efren Gonzalez. I'm a travel adventure vlogger. I've done a few of the Camino de Santiago, the Via Francigena, a few of the Seven Summits, and I recently did a section of the Appalachian Trail. I'm at Miami International Airport on my way to Spain to do more Caminos, and it is time to retire the AT hat and put on the Camino one. See you guys in Spain. I wish I could tell you that the check-in process and uh, TSA was fast and painless, but it wasn't. There was a huge line just to check in, but it was moving. What are the documents that are there requiring to enter Spain? Well, all I had to do was show my passport and proof of vaccination. When the lady saw that I had taken a test yesterday, she was like, you're good to go. I took a test yesterday. I also took one a week ago to enter the US when I came back from uh, the Dominican Republic. As you can see, the airport is kind of dead right now. It's only a couple of flights uh, that are leaving tonight. And one of them is the one that I'm gonna be taking to Madrid. I'm taking the red eye because I just wanna pass out with a NyQuil PM on the plane and just wake up around noon or 1 PM when I get to Madrid. That is now my final destination because I'm taking another flight to Santander and I'm gonna be getting there like around 5.30 in the afternoon. So tonight and tomorrow, the entire day, is just a travel day. And that is not even the end of it because in the day after that, I need to take a couple of trains. But let's take it one step at a time. Well guys finally made it to Madrid after an overnight flight that wasn't really too bad at all. I spent like the first couple of hours just editing the video up to this point and then we had dinner then I took my little pill and I passed out until uh, seven o'clock this morning. Just landed here in Madrid now we gotta go through customs you know the whole deal shouldn't be too bad at all and then I have two hours before my flight to Santander. Yes, almost there, one step closer. Can't believe that I'm in, in this airport. Last time I was here was like two years ago 
when I did my three Caminos back to back and I left from here. So yeah, just deja vu, feeling exciting for the journey ahead. It's like a labyrinth in here. So with an hour and a half between my connection, went through uh, immigration, took about an hour, and then I had to go through security, and then where they check your QR code, and then I had to run like hell through the airport and made it to the gate two minutes before it closed. I dropped my phone and I shattered my screen. So yeah, let's get on that plane to Santander. Wow, I'm out of breath running through the airport with a 20 pound backpack is no joke. That was a quick 40 minute flight from Madrid to Santander. I wish I could have recorded more, but I barely made it on time. So yeah, give yourself at least two hours if you have a connecting flight. And that's, I didn't even have a check back. If I would have had to get my back, I would have definitely missed the flight. So now I have to figure out how to get to the city. It's either Uber, public transportation, train, bus, we'll figure it out. here in Spain already checked in at Hostel La Mexicana uh, I guess this is my room <laughs> great thing is that I'm in the center of town let's see 503 502 501 pack it up 503 over here oh man I miss this Look at that. This is just perfect. Tiny room for uh, 36 euros. I had to pay 20 for the taxi uh, from the airport here. It's actually a little bit chilly in the city. I mean, coming from Miami where there's like, you know, 80 degrees, almost 90 Fahrenheit. And I get here and it is, let's see, 72 right now. So not too bad. I think this would be like the high it's overcast right now. I had to uh, drop off all my gear and head straight to uh, the cathedral so that I can get, uh, you know, the pilgrim passport. If you guys remember correctly, two years ago in 2019, I did the Camino del Norte and I passed through this cathedral with uh, my fellow pilgrim, Noé. There was a wedding going on in here, so we couldn't film much. Right now, it's just deserted, empty. I managed to get my pilgrim passport. The guy was very helpful. It only cost two euros, so got that out of the way. 
just gonna stroll the church a little bit before exploring the town I guess it's so surreal man just being here once again this is what I love the most about travel days it is just the jolt from your daily routine and all of a sudden you are out here in another world so going from Miami to Spain to Santander is a lot to take in luckily for me this is not my first time So I've just been walking through the city of Santander, through the streets. I had to stop and get a pincho and a caña, you know. And I also got some ice cream because what would I do out here without trying the ice cream? As I always do. It's just so surreal being here. And the people are out and about, you know, they're wearing their mask outdoors. So it feels, uh, feels about the same, except for the mask. So I've been uh, strolling the streets of uh, Santander, just, you know, reminiscing, reliving my Camino del Norte, going to the same places that I went, flying the drone. And uh, I didn't notice, but it's also nine o'clock. Look how much light we still got. That is a beauty here in Spain. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity, of course, to thank all the trail angels these are the people that uh, donated when I was on the Appalachian Trail and I'm gonna keep thanking them because as I mentioned before, I will take the funds and use them for future pilgrimage and expedition. So that's what I'm doing. So guys, that's it for today. Today was a great day, first day, travel day, making my way from Miami to Santander. Long, tired, gotta go back to uh, my hostel and uh, edit today's video. So I guess I'll see you all tomorrow morning.